Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be going through the new community crunch 342 for Ark Survival Evolved. This is bringing the big Winter Wonderland update. No, this is not just the event that's coming, guys, but it is also going to be all of the story content which we've been missing that came to the Switch. It's going to be a pretty big update, so watch out for this coming on the 14th of December. This is going to be lasting for two weeks. Well, the story content will be lasting forever, but the actual event itself, we're going to be going through all the news you need to know in today's video. I look forward to update day this week. Now, as always, if you guys do enjoy today's video, smash that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on all of your ARC news. And let's get in with today's video. Now, what I actually wanted to say is there hasn't been a video uploaded since Thursday. And I took a little bit of time off just because, you know, we had the Game Awards stream and it was a great stream. So many of you guys came along to watch. There was like over 2000 of you. But it was just so, so disappointing that yet again, there wasn't actually any ARC 2 news there. Um, you know, considering how this is like coming to the end of 2022, we're moving into 2023. We were told we were meant to be getting ARC 2 uh, in the first half of 2023. And I just don't know whether I can see that i could be wrong and i really hope i'm proved wrong but i'm guessing the arc 2 news is going to come in some separate studio wildcard thing or maybe e3 i don't really know at the moment but we're focusing on arc 1 today because I've, I've actually got slightly tired of you know like all the different arc 2 stuff just now we're just going to be quiet until we hear extra stuff and as soon as i hear i'll let you guys know but anyway, Community Crunch 342, Winter Wonderland 7, can you believe it? Seven years of Winter Wonderland, narrative content and more. So, greeting survivors next week, which is this week now, the community favourite event, Winter Wonderland, begins. Be sure to gather your tribes for the most festive arc event. And I thought this design here was so, so good. Definitely the best one they've done so far. So the new narrative content, the Winter Wonderland patch on December 14th will introduce brand new narrative content featuring actors Maddie Madden, The Wheel of Time and David Tennant, Doctor Who, who can, who, you know, what an absolute legend David Tennant is. Absolutely love him. One day would absolutely love to meet him. But I just don't know if that will ever happen. But we'll see. Um, we've got to keep grinding on YouTube. <laughs> Reprising their respective roles as Helena Walker and Sir Edmund Rockwell. All of Hel Helena's, sorry, I keep saying Helena. Helena's and Rockwell's dossiers and explorer notes will be voiced by the actors as will Survivor's epic confrontation versus Rockwell on Ark Aberration. Also, the highly requested Scorch Earth Ascension will also make its debut. So expect a big big patch now again this is some more confirmation guys that this is the last this is why i actually think that arc 2 will be on time the only reason why is again another confirmation from the team here dolly said okay let me know which two creature colors you'd most like to see um, um, about on official service in our final arc 1 winter ones land event so it is literally the end of events in the game that is why i'm thinking arc 2 could still be on time you know like because if 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 um you know if it was another year of arc 1 and there wasn't any events then it would be quite boring wouldn't it and i just doubt wildcard would leave us with nothing so i still have this slight feeling it could be on track but anyway so this is all the news that came through so deck the halls with bowels of holly winter wonderland will be making a triumphant return with new presents and goodies for arc survivors the epic winter-themed holiday begins on December 14th and will last until Thursday, January the 5th. Now, remember, guys, on top of this event, we will be getting the um, New Year's event. So I don't even want to talk about New Year's at the moment. I want to enjoy Christmas, I, but I, I've just mentioned it for you guys so you know that there's always that big event where all the gifts are flying down from the sky for 12 hours on New Year's. But the reason why I don't want to talk about it is just because, you know, I, I just want to focus. I need I need a nice break, not from YouTube, from just life and the, what a better way than Christmas. So New Year's, you can wait a little bit for now. But anyway, Raptor Claws will be sailing across the star-filled night sky in his sleigh, dropping off presents filled with high-end loot as well as mistletoe and coal for those naughty survivors. You'll be able to catch Raptor Claws flying across the skies at midnight game time on all maps. Gatcha Claus is also making a triumphant return to help Raptacles spread the holiday cheer. Gatcha Claus will be roaming around all maps looking for eager um, recipients while sporting holiday themed colours. 
He'll be accepting your coal and exchange will gift you holiday themed items or you can trade in your mistletoe and coal for skins, cosmetics, weapons, armor of 12 new chibis. As you can see, the event dates, uh, December 14th, to January 5th, the event rates, we've got times three harvesting, taming and breeding on official servers, 0 0.5 mating interval and 1.5 times hexagon bonus. Um, the small tribe servers, four, uh, 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 four uh, 4.5 times sorry um and then five on apocalypse and 4.5 on conquest the event creatures obviously being raptor claws and gacha claws as i mentioned we've got the emote of the santa laugh emote caroling emote happy clap emote nutcracker dance emote the event skins we have actually i was a little bit disappointed with this with one of them um, so we knew that it was all going to be the same from last year. Um, you know, one of my favorite things being the full body Santa costume. But they're also just returning the animated TV show Parasaur skin. And I thought that was a little bit disappointing because the years before they had the animated ra uh, Raptor and then they actually updated it to have the animated Parasaur. But they've just put the animated Parasaur back in, which I thought would be nice to see another one from the series. But oh well. Um, and then three new male and female Christmas themed sweater skins. Um, four new Christmas themed beanie skins. A Rex sweater skin. Carolus uh, sweater skin. Bulb dog sweater skin, blue beanie, uh, blue winter beanie, purple green beanie, um, male and female Noglin swimsuit and Yeti swimsuit, candy cane club skin, Christmas bowler skin, um, nutcracker slingshot skin, dino ornament swim bottom and top skin, Jaboa reef swim bottom and top skin, ugly Bronto sweaters um, and chibi and Kano sweaters, um, grey winter beanie, purple winter beanie, red winter beanie, felt reindeer antlers skin and the santa hat skin now the new chibis for this uh for the final winter ones land 7 event is the andrew sarkus the patchy the fenrir the diplodocus and then festive lights red and green variants of the four light pets in costume so we've got for these festive chibis which is definitely a new thing wildcard haven't done before but we've got a bunch of the new um a bunch of the new creatures that um i'm guessing wildcard forgot the diplodocus never actually had a chibi um but we have a lot of the uh a lot of the uh, fiorda uh, dinos that didn't get it to finish off the final event now bear in mind this will be the last time chibis will be available as a two week long event there'll be a return for them for the new year's event and then that will be it for the rest of the time until arc 2 i doubt that, well that, that's even if chibis come on to arc 2 they might do later on i don't know um event items festive but you will be able to get them from the hexagon exchange store so don't worry they're not gone from the game um, event items, festive dino candy, holiday lights, holiday stocking, holiday tree, a gift box, snowman and wreath. Um, and then the uh, wild creature colors, we've got new ones, lavender, dino light purple, dino light blue, dragon green zero. Um, uh, they're the four new colors. And then the returning colors of jade, pine green, spruce green, dark magenta, glacial, powder blue, teal, dark violet, red, green, light gray, light red, yellow, dark red, dino light red, dino light green, dino medium green, dino albino, and near white. So... Do you know what? When I was reading that there, it felt, do you know, it felt really weird all of a sudden, like halfway through reading it. It just made me realize that this is the last ever time I am going to be reading this for arc one. And if, if, if like, I don't know, I know it'd be the same for you guys, but I started this channel and started doing these like, you know, event updates and stuff when I was 16 or 17 years old. Now I am 23 turning 24 in April. And I've been reading this these for years. This has been my like one of my jobs that I've done for years, you know. And just to think that that is the last time I will be reading that for Arc One is pretty scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, I mean, what an event! It's my favorite ever event they always do. So I look forward to it. Uh, and then we have Classic PvP Season 6. This launches on Thursday the 15th of December, so a day after the event on Wednesday goes live. Um, this, uh, the differences this year, so the Classic PvP uh, Season 6 details. Experience game and uh, a basic, um, all the official servers will have times 5, uh, but breeding, hatching, and raising rates have been quadrupled to times 4. Tribes are set to 25 players max. Tribe alliances are disabled, though informal alliances are allowed. Servers have a maximum count of 100 players. 
The maps that will be available is the island, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, Lost Island, Valgera in the center. Um, tech Dinos, P Tech Parasaur, Tech Quetzal, Tech Rex, Tech Rapsus, Tech Pe uh, Pego, Parasaur, Tech Jar, and Titanosaur are not available for taming on classic PvP. All Aberration, Extinction, Gener Genesis Part 1 and 2 are unavailable on uh, classic PvP. Scaling of weapon damage has been reduced. No tech engrams, no cave building. Cryopods are enabled. The tamed Stegosaurus resistance is reduced by 35%. The tamed Quetzal Wyvern um, resistance reduced by 20%. The tamed Wyvern damage reduced by 20%. And the Reaper Queen has been added to the Valgaro, uh, Valgaro Aberration Zone. So that is everything you need to know from this week um apparently there is the community corner that we haven't actually gone through yet but um in the past few weeks we've seen a surge in viewerships across twitch for arc streams we're pleased to find out that vault room x crazy raccoon held a pvp arc event on lost island this series reached incredible viewership on twitch reaching the top ranks with popular twitch games as you can see arc being 103,000. a lot of streamers do this and it's never normally it's, it's usually like people that uh play like all different types of games from a different community and they come onto it and they start streaming arc because obviously you have so many uh, possibilities and arc ends up being like one of the most played games it is absolutely mad i think arc 2 when that comes out it will literally be the most played game on twitch youtube everything that's not me being biased being an arc youtuber but i generally think on day one launch it will be one of the most played games and i think it could hit some records it just it just all depends on if it's going to be successful um and then we've got uh, natural causes again great youtuber can 100 players siege a castle of pvp players i always watch this um we have another neddy the noodle video um which uh, is uh, always actually quite interesting to be honest they are really good videos um and then we have fan art we have serious a serious lady a serious lady by uh, the lizard that did this design here um we have a friend of mine running from a giga <laughs> i like that one um we got a mega mech we have um an updated portrait of, of, of the arc cat of someone's art character um we have a spinosaurus arc discord server art um run <laughs> running away from all different types of dinos there um which is i, I do like that then we've got the in-game screenshots this one's really really cool is this survival of the fittest remember survival of the fittest is still planned for arc uh one this month so yeah anyway um but what this actually i knew this was going to be in this um we we get nothing uh but we get this but nothing on arc till the animated series i mean come on wildcard we haven't seen anything but two cinematics and a small trailer and concept art for both give us something the cartoon is supposed to be out this year and according you uh according to you guys it isn't even delayed where is the trailer saying something's coming out this month arc 2 needs to have actual gameplay to work where is the showcase of that at this point you might as well make another arc map and hold another creature vote give the community something i don't think that's a bad thing to say i really really don't and i am someone that's happy to wait i don't want to give i don't want to send hate over to wildcard i have a lot of respect for wildcard and i know a lot of them in the team uh, most of them have a lot of respect for me from what i know and me and cedric have known each other for a very long time not personally but just sort of online we've followed each other for like seven years um, so I have a lot of love for him. I have a lot of love for a few of the other ones. So I don't want to be, you know, spreading hate at all. That's never anything I do in life. Um, I always love to spread the love. But I do feel like we need something just to give us that sort of feeling. I know Wildcard like to keep quiet. But it's just the fact that, you know, we are, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I said I wasn't going to talk about it anymore, but that made me talk about it, is... I love these events. I love everything. I just want to see what the next plan is moving on into the next year, especially being a content creator and a player. I want to know what I'm going to be doing, you know, related to ARC. Um, so anyway, my alarms decided to go off there, which is great timing. So thank you for that alarm. Um, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video very soon. You're going to have a lot of uploads this week.